Crystal and Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. As we begin a new year here at Main Street, we are in the midst of a new worship series entitled Bread, Bath, and Beyond. This past Sunday, we began the series with looking at the bread, the part of uh, Holy Communion that can give us sustenance and provides us the strength that we need to go out beyond the walls of the church to do God's work. And this Sunday, on January 8th, we're going to be looking at the bath part of that, specifically our baptisms. We're going to be talking about how our baptisms help us be prepared to go beyond what we think we can do to do the extraordinary, to do what God has called us to do. And so in preparation for this Sunday's worship service, I was looking up different passages of Scripture that dealt with water. And I came across this one that I thought would be appropriate to share with you this day. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. When the wine ran out, Jesus' mother said to him, They don't have any wine. Jesus replied, Woman, what does that have to do with me? My time hasn't come yet. His mother told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby were six stone water jars used for the Jewish cleansing ritual, each able to hold about 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them to the brim. And then he told them, Now draw some from them and take it to the head waiter. And they did. The head waiter tasted the water that had become wine. He didn't know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The head waiter called the groom and said, Everyone serves the good wine first. They bring out the second-rate wine only when the guests are drinking freely. You kept the good wine until now. This was the first miraculous sign that Jesus did in Cana of Galilee. He revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. After this, Jesus and his mother, his brothers, and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there for a few days. Jesus took ordinary water and did something extraordinary at that wedding. We allow Jesus. He can also take our ordinary lives and what we may see as unimportant and do something extraordinary with those as well. I pray as you begin this new year, as we look to what 2023 might hold, that you will consider the ordinariness of your life. And what you don't see maybe is too important. Offer it up to God and see what extraordinary things God can do. I look forward to worshiping with you in person at 1030 here at Main Street or worshiping with you online. Have a great rest of the week. God bless.